has much more tonight. The UIL released their timeline for fall sports on July 17th, and since then, McLennan County has issued an order shutting down practices, and then a week and a half later, overturned the order. As of now, UIL timeline still stands. Class 1 through 4A teams suited up for the first day of official practice. Hey, they were excited. We, uh, you know, we tried to dial it back and just, just explain to them that, you know, we have a month to get ready for our first football game, and so we got to make sure we're taking it one day at a time. We're nervous that um, we wouldn't be able to start, like, on regular timing. And, I don't know, I'm just glad that we get to actually start practicing now. Due to the uncertainty of even having a season, many teams are already behind in preparing for the fall season. With spring practices and preseason conditioning being cut short, teams now just have one month or less to prepare for their first game. Not having a spring and then, you know, obviously the traditional summer was seven on seven and some of those things, we're a little bit behind on that, but, you know, we got plenty of time to, to get it right. Taking nothing for granted and just, um, I don't know, basically just pushing everyone and every like rush we get. And we're just taking it day by day and just being like more thankful than anything that we're even getting a season. COVID-19 has impacted every team. Practices look a lot different and scheduling games has created a whole new challenge. One had their schedule set for a while. And then um, I would say I've probably changed about five or six times now. <laughs> In the past, when we go to a break where, you know, all the kids go, lay in one spot around the water cow, and then, you know, now we're, we're spread out across the field. Even with the challenges, student athletes are happy to be back with their teammates and play the game they love. My group chat, and we normally text in almost every day and do a lot of team stuff, so we're super excited for this season. <laughs> Again, that was Abby Loring reporting. Now, 5 and 6A activities have to wait a little bit longer before they can get underway. According to UIL guidelines, those schools can resume football and volleyball practices September 7th. Volleyball games can begin September 14th. Football games have to wait until September 24th. With kids set to go back to school in a couple of weeks, a lot of it will be virtual.